in this video i'm going to show you how to install the packages that we need uh, for this course so uh, first of all uh, you can go to canvas and then click the link to go to our google site once you are on google site then you can click uh, resources software um, so we are going to install three software packages uh, including visual studio code git and miniconda you can um, i already downloaded those packages uh, on google drive so you can click uh, drive and then from there you should be able to go to software and um, so visual studio code uh, miniconda and git so for this one if you haven't installed i also uh, highly recommend that you install the google drive uh, file stream and so once you have the file stream uh, you should be able to have a folder uh, in here uh, showing up on your uh, uh, computer and then if you click in you should be able to see uh, the folders so um, this is the one that uh, uh, showing up and then you can go to uh, click software um, you should be able to see the same folder like what you are seeing here using the browser and then we're going to install these packages uh, i'm going to go uh, start with uh, git and then miniconda and the last one will be visual studio code so uh, just click and you can click this one uh, it should be able to automatically download the uh, the package to your computer so uh, once you uh, double click then you can hit the uh, next uh, next um, you can accept the default settings uh, already exist because I, I installed this one previously but i already uninstalled so uh, i'm just gonna hit the yes and from here you can uh, just accept all the default uh, settings uh, you don't really have to change uh, anything so next and then next so for this one uh we, we are going to use a visual studio code so uh, make sure that you change this one to uh, use a visual studio code as a git uh, default editor and once you change this one so um we're going to install a visual studio code uh, later but right now it looks like it's not uh, allowing you to uh, do that so let me uh, accept the you can use the default one or maybe let's install the uh visual studio code first okay uh, it'll be easier so let's install this one first uh double click it might take a, a couple of seconds to download the package uh if you want you can okay pretty quick so accept next and you can accept the default settings uh, it doesn't really matter so next so for this one uh, if you want to create a desktop icon then you check this one and you might also want to check some of this uh, because uh, it'll be easier for you to open uh, files and folders from your computer so i'm going to use use this use this i can just uh, check all of the uh, these are recommended um, uh, options next install okay uh it should not take uh long so this is a very powerful editor uh right now uh it's it's pretty much used uh the most popular editor uh in the uh the programming uh world so uh you want to learn this one if you haven't uh, used this before so okay and then you will open up uh, this uh, uh interface so because i already installed this one before i by default it's going to uh, open uh the previous project uh, i can just uh, simply uh close folder so it'll be uh, brand new okay so this is a visual studio code and next one uh we're going to go back to git uh let's install git uh, from now here yeah, next next yes um next next so now we can change to Visual Studio Code as the Git uh, default editor. Okay, so now it's being recognized, and just hit the uh, new. Uh, that Git uh, decide. Okay, uh, use the default settings. Um, then next, um, next. You can uh, don't worry about this. Uh, you can always use the default settings. Uh, this will work um, just fine. And next next and gigs are uh, creating so manager okay you can also accept the uh the default one next okay 
So git there is for uh, version control. Um, don't worry about this right now if you haven't used this before. We're going to get into details uh, later, but right now this just uh, install loads of three software packages uh, first, and then we can talk about how to use it, okay? And if you want, you can launch uh, git base to take a look. So you'll be just command line, but um, we'll be using Visual Studio Code actually to manage uh, this. So uh, we really need to actually to type the command line uh, only a few times. But after that, uh, everything can be using uh, the Visual Studio Code to automate. Okay, so close. Last last one, uh, Miniconda. You can also use Anaconda. So uh, Miniconda is a mini version. Uh, if you already have um, Anaconda installed on your computer, then you don't need to install this one. But if you have not installed uh, Anaconda or Miniconda before, then uh, then you need to install this one. Again, double click. Next. I agree. And you can install for all users, or just me. And again, uh, you can change the, uh, just leave as the uh, the default settings. Uh, it's not empty again uh, because I I installed this one before. I just uninstalled. So now I need to go to this folder. So again, go to uh, if you're brand new, then you don't need to follow this uh, step. But uh, so uh, you'll be mini conda three. Uh, as you can see from here, I just delete the folder uh, and it might take some time because i use uh, install a lot of uh, packages before so it, it, the uh, it might be a lot of stuff uh, in there i think i already um uninstall this one let me double check uh, i haven't uh uninstalled so it'd be better to just come here uninstall this one next uninstall so this might be uh, easier. Uh, you will you will clean up everything from uh, my computer. All right, sorry about that. So let me come back to here. And uh, if it doesn't uh, delete the folder, then I can manually delete this one. But uh, I think it should be more intelligent. Uh, if it, it's already installed, it, it should ask me to actually to modify. But uh, it doesn't. So I'm going to uh, let this one finish, and then I will come back okay so now it's done uh uninstalling the uh mini conda so uh finish and so now the folder is gone and so in this case we can continue to install this one right now and uh so you can keep keep the uh the default settings uh re raise the mini conda as my default python uh, 3.8 and then next so it should only take a couple of seconds to finish the installation and hopefully uh, all the program that we need um, these three uh, key uh, packages uh, should be ready to go okay so uh, it might take a few more seconds and once it's done uh, you should be able to access this uh, from the start menu okay next uh, finish uh, we don't want to look at the tutorials right now so finish and so uh, let's come back here uh, to take a look so we the first one we installed is um, uh, Visual Studio Code. So if you go uh, to here, okay, uh, scroll Visual Studio Code. So uh, it's in here. You can open. Uh, it's already actually already open. Okay, so let me close. Uh, it's in here. Uh, let me just ping this one uh, um, to the taskbar so I can always have access to this one. And then the next one uh, is uh, Git. So let's take a look. Uh, Git here. Uh, we have a couple uh, uh, items in here, gig base and gig GUI. So for most of the time, well, we can just use the gig base, and um, so it automatically open the um, the command line. Uh, but you can also from your computer anywhere, you can right click, and then right now you see this one in the uh, con uh, context of a menu. So you can also open uh, GUI or gig base in here. If you notice, when I open this one, uh, it automatically go to your home folder. But if you want to open Git um, for a specific folder, you right click and then uh, Git base here, and it's automatically get into the folder. So this is what it shows up in here. But like I mentioned earlier, we don't really need to use this one. Uh, we will be using uh, from uh, here uh, most of the time. So 
as you can see this is the uh, the source control so we're going to use uh, um, uh, from here uh, later and the last one is a uh, mini conda so again uh, come to M with M uh, if not we can do the search so uh, you can search from here mini okay anaconda okay uh, it's not called mini conda so it should be here anaconda 3 and we click uh, you have two these in here mini conda so we'll be using this one anaconda prompt okay again by default it's going to go to your uh, home directory uh, we'll be introducing this more later but for now uh, that's uh, sufficient so we have three software uh, packages uh, installed right now but um, i would like to uh, uh, show you how to actually install some of the extensions uh, for visual studio code so as you can see from here this is a general uh, python uh, a, a general editor it can be used to edit any anything so it can be uh, plain text it can be uh, c or c plus plus or or even r or any kind of a computer uh, languages but uh, we're going to primarily use this one for python so uh, there are lots of extensions that we can utilize actually to uh, make our programming much much um, easier so there are some of the packages that we definitely need to install in order to be able to uh, do program pro uh, do python programming so uh, i already did some of those extensions uh, you can go to the website and then resources uh, software so from here if you scroll down um, I this in here some of the recommended uh, VS Code extensions. So these are the one that uh, you'll be very helpful. So um, because we need we are doing Python programming, so we need to install this one uh, in order to be able to execute uh, Python source code. So uh, if you open Visual Studio Code and then go to this icon uh, extensions. So from here you will be able to see some like uh, uh, already installed. So uh, if you if you haven't installed this one uh you can you can certainly install so you can also go to uh let me see if we can find out the uh recommended no extension uh, file but for example if you if you haven't installed so you can just search uh python okay so it'll be the first one and then uh you'll be asked you to install so okay i already installed probably from my let me uninstall first and then just install you see here it's uh, very quick so keep in mind this is pretty much the most popular extension right now uh more than 30 uh, million uh, uh, downloads and installs okay so this will be the first one and then the next one uh you'll be uh pylens so this one is also very powerful it can help you uh write some of the codes are uh, auto complete uh, auto completion so it's very intelligent uh, you can search pylens okay and then come back to here again install uh usually it's just take a couple uh, seconds so the you can for, copy paste and just do step by step to install all the uh, extensions trust me it's going to make your life much easier so uh jupiter okay uh this one already installed so if you haven't installed this one uh click uh, install and then the next one uh intelligent uh code copy paste okay it's the first one uh, you see all those are very popular uh, over a couple um, a million uh, downloads and then the, what's the next one so uh, mark, mark, mark down shortcut so this one uh, we will be using uh, uh, in the next video but uh, for now uh, just this install this one don't worry about how to use that uh, right now so install and uh, git lens so this is also a good one for version control uh so big thanks uh it'll be the first one super trust install and then uh, materials icon um so because we are using the editor uh we're going to have a lot of our uh, files so we want each files to have a, a distinctive uh, icon so if you can see from this in here uh very nice so uh looks much better uh when you are uh, looking at the files install uh, oh. is there something in here uh material icon yeah so also make the changes uh when one is uh pop up and we have two more to go uh prettier so prettier is to make your source code uh looks much better looks beautiful 
so it would be the first one i think yes uh 10 almost uh 10 million times uh downloads and last one uh python doc string uh, generator so this is how we document uh, when you write source code, we also want to have some documentation so it can automatically generate those uh, for you. Uh, so uh, you later when we try to uh, put up, up, up publish uh, the, your package, uh, your your package, we we need documentation. So this one will make your life much easier. As you can see here, uh, everything is automatic. So uh, definitely uh, highly recommend it. Okay, so once you uh, install all the packages, then I can just clear up. So on the list in here, now you see the install uh, options. So these are the key ones that we're going to use. Uh, you're welcome to explore more uh, if you if you want like more packages. But uh, for now, uh, this is uh, sufficient. So uh, you can okay activate uh, install. So in the next uh, videos, uh, we will be talking about how to use some of these. Um, uh, Might not all of them, but uh, this should be good to. Uh, for most of the project that we're going to work on uh, during this uh, semester okay so uh, that's all for this video I, I hope you uh, you install all these uh, three packages and uh, then we can get started uh, doing uh, coding so I will see you in the uh, next video if you have any questions uh, you can send to the uh, group email um, so uh, if you have any installation issues or, or, or any questions then uh, email to the uh, the group email. Okay, I will see you in the uh, next video. Take care.